it's probably 4.30 or earlier, and the whole team isn't here yet. We had to go get our uniforms that were dirty from last night that we just finished playing with, so go managers. And we're going to pack them up, get on the bus, and go beat Arkansas, and watch our baseball players go beat Arkansas. Anything special, Mr. Hitting Coach, that you want me to do with them? We we'll go punt, hit, uh, punt, sack, sack punt, hit, sack, run, hit, hit and run. run, first round, hit behind, and then you can do two rounds of five. Hey, here we go! Little hop in our step. Let's go! I guarantee, if you move around, you'll stay warm. That's why I'm in shorts. Sack. Another one. Sack. And run. Where is the runner going? Second. So where is the shortstop going? Second. So where do we not want to hit the ball? Second. Okay. Now we're clear. There you go. Get around. Hold on. I want to. Let me see a bat. Here, just front toss me. I want to see if I can hit the scoreboard. That's not even going to get out of here. No, man, I, did, I hit balls. I crushed the balls that way, they didn't go anywhere. Now my back's going to be sore tomorrow because I haven't swung like that in a few weeks. Hey, here we go. Let's play catch. Get there, get there. Good. You guys have to use, you're either going to have to use your glove, shield it this way, or use your hand. Okay? But you can't get here and just think you're going to catch a ball looking directly in the sun. There, in that situation right there, you got to find that ball early. That means you're going to have to put your glove up. Let's not panic. Be under control. Let it go. You're so worried about all the little things, like that last one, you were so worried about, okay, I got to get the ball, I got to make the throw, and then you didn't even grip it good, but you made a good throw, right? Be carefree when you go out there and play. Don't panic. Outies. Right. One, two, three. Outies. my crib, you know, that's how we do. It's me and Lauren Lindsay. I sleep here, she sleeps there. This is a little confusing, we're not sure about this, so. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Yeah, we don't know yet, we'll figure it out. A fridge for all our athletic drinks. And you know, like this chair for awesome like study time, just cause that's what we do. And just in all case you don't have enough pillows, there this they are. pillow's from China. <laughs> and then our bathroom's really huge. I wasn't expecting that. You gotta jump on it, fill it out, fluff the pillows a little bit. Here we go. I give it about a nine. I'd say a nine. It's pretty solid. It gets kind of busy, but uh, you know, it's a lot of time that we get to spend together, and uh, I think it's good for us to just. Uh, hang out, get away from Oxford for a little while, and just enjoy being on the road, experience a different town, and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. I would have to agree with like the getting <laughs> the getting away part because like we're in Oxford 24/7. We get to we've seen everything, and this is just something new. Like we get to go and see all these different places. Like I didn't know there was a taco shop down the street. <laughs> There's just so many different things and cultures, and we get to see it all. So that's pretty awesome. All right. Okay. All right. We gotta get out of here. You gotta go. Right. Snap time. Get up. Get up. Got some rest. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Leave. <laughs> We're heading to go and support our baseball boys yep. in Arkansas. Yep. So. Watching. Yeah, we're gonna yeah, win. Yeah. We're gonna beat up on the Hogs. Man, seven to two. I'm gonna mm -hmm. say six to three.
Dirt on three. One, two, three. The Rebels entered the weekend on a three-game winning streak, a 7-3 victory Friday night, and a 6-4 victory in extra innings Saturday afternoon extended that streak to five. After securing the series win, Ole Miss had hopes of their first SEC series sweep since 2012. While the Rebels looked to secure the Sunday afternoon victory, Arkansas had plans of their own, wanting to take game three of the weekend. Although the Arkansas faithful would call the Hogs, it would be the Rebels who showed up first, opening the series finale against the Razorbacks with some offense of their own, albeit patiently. 3-1 on the way. Upstairs and Cox draws the base on balls. And yeah, not the way you want to start the game if you're Grace there. Five pitches, four of those balls. A late jump for Cox, but she's in there with the stolen base. The one-two on the way, and it hit her, and she'll draw the walk down to first base, and now suddenly the Rebels have something brewing with two on and nobody out. So Ole Miss a chance to jump out to an early lead. Lays one down. Where will the play be? It'll be at first, but that will allow the runners to advance to second and third, so a nice job by Strother to advance the runners. And that one, did it not hit the bat? It looked like it might have come off the bat. It hit something and it, shot to the wall. It looked like it hit off of the glove of Nicole Schroeder. The 1-1, one, one, bunted toward third. That will allow a run to score. They'll easily trade the out for the run, and the Rebels quickly up 2 to nothing. While Ole Miss mounted another offensive strike in the second inning, it would take one call to turn the tide against the Rebels. Flair, that's going to be a fair ball into the left field corner. At least a double for Brown. The throw will come in, and she'll stand up. So once again, the Rebels get their leadoff hitter on. Well, now our umpires are going to converge, I guess, just to make sure that that was correct. No, they're going to bring her back. They're going to say it was a foul no, ball. No, 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 no. Coach, listen. You had That's your listen. call. Understand, he's right there by that. That is he your is call. Right there. He is right there by that. You? No. The only, re the only reason you changed that call is because what he came that's, over here no, and said. That's not correct. That's not correct. Then, then why didn't you come down here originally to ask him that same question? Because we're going to get the call right. As momentum sided with the Razorbacks, Arkansas would not let the opportunity to level the game slip away. Chopper to short, not going to be able to come up with it. So everybody will be safe, and the Razorbacks have maybe a little something brewing here with two on and no outs. Again, the one-two, back up the middle. They're going to send the runner. Here comes the throw home. That's not going to be in time, and Arkansas is on the board. Andrew Meyer trying to get out of a jam. She's ahead 0-2. Chopper towards second. A run will score. They'll gladly trade the run for the out. So Cooper drives in the tie and run. Hey, we need to play with some energy and excitement, okay? Everything is lethargic going through the motions. I don't know what it is, but we need to, we need to turn the volume up a little bit. Despite relinquishing the lead, the Rebels escaped the second inning in a deadlock with the Razorbacks, and it would remain that way until the seventh inning. After aggressive base running, Ole Miss had runners at first and third, with sophomore Miranda Strother up to bat and the opportunity to give the Rebs the lead. 1-1 one, one count. Bunts one in front of the plate, nicely done. And now we're gonna have a throw down and the ball gets away. 
errant throw is going to allow a runner to score. And Ole Miss now has runners at second and third. There's a shot to left field. Chris go under it. Schneider hit it. The runner will tag and score easily. So the Rebels played their second run of the inning, and they now lead it 4-2. to two. That's a big insurance run for Ole Miss. After a flyout to end the top of the seventh, Ole Miss needed the Rebels' defense in order to leave Fayetteville with the series sweep. Hey, that's what it's all about right here, five, being able to pitch in this situation. Here we go, five. Chopper to short. Wallace will be retired, 6-3 for out number one. Little flare right at the first baseman. Schneider has it, and now there are two away. Sias and Bronchi doing battle here in the bottom of the seventh. There's a little flare, what a catch by Brown at third, and that's going to do it. Way to come in and do the job, Ham. No, that's a heck of a, hey, that's a heck of a, heck of a weekend, ladies. Heck of a weekend. Great job. Hey, it wasn't pretty. We battled. Okay, we battled. Way to get the sweep here on the road. Okay, sweeps on the road are always huge. Proud of you, proud of you what you guys did this weekend, ladies. Hey, it doesn't stop here. Big, big weekend coming up. Big week and then weekend coming up, okay? Every game is important, playing one pitch at a time. Okay. Well, that's just as important as today. Absolutely. Great job, ladies. Great job. Here we go. We are! Good job, ladies.